With the fixture in its closed position, we now have the dot located in the fixture from our previous step, and we can now start inserting test point pogo pins. You can see here the model of the pogo pin being inserted into the fixture and located in the proper position. The locations of each pogo pin were determined from the dot test point locations. So we already have those locations based on the model of the dot. Note how the pogo pins will extend all the way down from the dot and into the test point carrier board will they, where they will be finally located. In our next step, we're going to make sure to accommodate holes for each of the test points in the spring plate and in the test point carrier board.